My question for Sir Roger Carr is this. What assessment has BAE Systems made of its potential legal responsibility for complicity in possible crimes under international law committed in the war in Yemen? I ask for two reasons. First, whenever BAE Systems is asked about its exports to countries engaged in war, conflict or internal repression, the response received is that the company abides by the legal and policy framework set out by the government. But this is a very useful fiction, the fiction that there is a clear separation between the company and the government. It allows the company to hide behind the government and its legal and policy framework and allows the government to use claims of commercial confidentiality to avoid scrutiny. But second, companies themselves have legal responsibilities under international law. The European Centre for Constitutional and Human Rights, supported by Amnesty International, Campaign Against Arms Trade, Centre de la, Moitana for Human Rights, Ndrete de Sarmo, has submitted a 300-page communication and supporting evidence to the International Criminal Court's Office of the Prosecutor, calling on the court to investigate whether high-ranking officials from European companies, including BAE Systems, as well as European governments, have criminal responsibility for supplying arms used by members of the Saudi-led military coalition in potential war crimes in Yemen. Thank you.